That's right, folks. Looks like yet another sweltering night in the Music City. Temperatures are expected to stay around 85 degrees for the duration of the evening. Tomorrow doesn't look to be any more forgiving, with highs expected to reach around 100. So, crank that AC, grab a cold one, and settle in for a hot, sticky evening. And not the kind you'd like, either. <laughs> Prostitution is up, crime is up, taxes are up, wages are down. The only businesses which seem to be flourishing are the strip clubs and bars, which have, on the average, reported net profit increases by 18% just this past year. Really says something about our society, doesn't it? The city definitely seems to have its priorities in order. So this shit gets pretty boring, huh? Yeah, what shit is that? This shit, this... This kinda ain't nothing going on around here kinda shit. Ain't nothing going on yet. Yet? What, do you know something I don't know? I know life. <laughs> you know life. So now how come is it a cop like you is still pounding the beat, huh? You don't want like a cushy desk job or something, pushing pencils and shit? Uh, that's not for me, uh, Worked for DEA years ago, and uh, some of them good old boys, they uh, they gave me a hard time, you know. I busted my chops and decided that um, I could do more more use on the streets. I was out there protecting families, protecting my family, protecting your family. Well, look at that. So how long you been married, Andy? Uh, 15 years. 15 amazing years. Cool, you got any kids? Yeah, I got one girl, 10 years old, Marissa. What's your wife's name? Liz, uh, amazing woman. Met her years ago and uh, met her at a bad time in my life, you know? She's my rock. I wouldn't be anything without her, wouldn't be here. So, uh, I saw all those uh, medals and awards down at the station. How many you got? Seven. Lucky seven. Cool. What'd you get them for? Uh, 
Medal of Honor, Medal of Valor, uh, Bravery, Integrity, Purple Heart, and Combat Cross, and uh, Fitness. Fitness, huh? Yeah. You got a problem with that? <laughs> Look, at first you started talking about life, and I mean, that's, that's weird, but it's cool. Then you're gonna sit there and tell me that you won an award for fitness. Yeah, and? Fitness. Oh, fitness my ass sitting there all muffiny, busted biscuit ass. I thought I was talking to Yoda. It's more like goddamn Jabba. Fuck you, you cool. Head to the station. I'm about to check in for the night. And Mr. Scarpelli don't want no more lip from you. So pay up by Thursday or he's gonna snap your little fucking neck. You got that? But my daughter, she... She's real sick. She's got some kind of medical condition the doctors are trying to figure out. And, and I, I just need a little bit more time. Time is something you ain't got, Capiche, you fuck. But just one more week, okay? One more week, and I'll have Mr. Scarpelli every cent that I owe him. Look, we'll give him the message, but he might have us give you one instead. What are you talking about? He means the A, Mr. Scarpelli gives you a week. Or B. We return with a rusty blade and saw off your kneecaps. Slowly. And you won't know which one until it's too late. So I suggest you head on over and make peace with your sick daughter while you still have the legs to do it. Mr. Hannon, are you okay? Can I get you a towel? No, I'm good. Those guys are just terrible, and with your daughter being... I don't have a daughter, you fucking moron. But I thought that you said that... She... Look, stupid. Calm your tits, all right? Look, just go inside and get me a beer or something if you think you can handle that without blowing a fucking head gasket. I need to think. Okay, sorry. Yeah, hey, hey, Joey. Uh, yeah, it's Nikki. I... Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get that to you real soon, okay? I, I just, you know, I, I've been having some car trouble lately, and... I, no, no, that... That, that wasn't because of car trouble last week, okay? That was because of something at the club. Now, I look, I just, I... I, I know, I, I know, Joey, but, um... Look, 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 I, 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 got a, I got a good tip for the race tomorrow night, okay? Yeah, black flag the place. Yeah, I know what the fucking arts are right now, and we can make a fortune. Look, I, I just need you to spot me 2K. Come on, Joey. 1K, 1K. Jesus Christ, Joey. 500. I know that. Look, I, I, I can pay you back everything that I owe you after we win tomorrow night. I just... Joey? Hello? Fuck. What's going on, Captain? What's wrong with everybody? Why is everyone acting so gloved? It's Diamond. He ate the last of jelly donuts again. <laughs> I'm nervous in accident, Andy. What kind of an accident, Captain? In my office. What kind of accident? In my office. No, you, you tell me right now, goddammit, what kind of an accident? It was a Bosch robbery. Tent in Hargrove. Shots fired every place. Your wife and daughter, I'm sorry, Andy, they're gone. Jesus. <laughs> Please tell me you nailed that motherfucker. Please tell me you got that son of a bitch. Is that him? What the fuck? Shit! Fuck off me! Now! Andy, you need to take a week off. 
Effective immediately. Well, Captain, what the fuck? I said immediately. Put your piece of the shield on my desk. chicken. In local news today, Sergeant Andrew Rotelli is making the headlines yet again. But while filing charges against Sergeant Rotelli doesn't seem likely, the city, the police department, and the mayor's office all seem to be pushing to have every medal and honor ever bestowed upon the once promising police officer rescinded. The master of the macabre. Fucking bullshit. The Bellini of fear. What's up, Ace? Nick? Who else? I thought you were dead. Yeah, not dead, but it ain't for lack of trying by the entire fucking world. So you gonna invite me in or what? Yeah, yeah, sure. Come on in, Nick. Come on. Wow, hey, hey, how'd you find me? I followed you home from the service yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry about the wife and kid. Goddamn niggers. My funeral, Nick. How'd you hear about my family? Uh, you live half across country, no? Are you kidding me? No, Mr. Superman officer. I mean, reduced to a joke for the tabloid headlines. I mean, you're the golden ticket, Ace. The fucking golden ticket for the vultures. Ace, oh, I haven't heard that name in, in years, Nick. Seems like a lifetime ago. Yeah, it was, you know. It's a different time, different place. Uh, we took different paths, but you know, they both led back here anyway. It's funny how that works, huh? Yeah, that's... How come you didn't come out to meet the funeral, though? There's way too many blue shirts around, you know? And me and the Fuzz, we don't mix. We, we got a history, you know? And, and I just, uh... I just kind of felt it was in my best interest to lay low. Well, fair enough, but... Like I said, I thought you were dead. Yep. Not dead. Just my dreams, Ace. I'm sorry to hear that, Nick. Yeah, well, look, it's... It's no biggie. It's, it's why I came here, really. I, I mean, I thought... Maybe we could fire up that old, uh, you know, partners in crime flame once again. You know, uh, just like when we were kids. Uh, uh, you know, not giving a fuck, caring even less. You know, we had some good times back then, didn't we, Ace? Oh, we had the best times. Too many to, to mention, but we were crazy kids back then, Nick. Nothing more. Yeah, I mean, we could do it all again, just like before. Just like before? Again, Nick, we were kids. We were crazy and young, and we've grown up a lot. We, we've wised up a lot. What are you getting at anyway, Nick? Come work with me. Run the pleasure dome with me. I mean, we could own that fucking town. Huh? Two peas in a pod, just you and me. You flew halfway across the country to come here to ask me to run your strip club with you, Nick? Is that what you're telling me? Nick, I'm a cop. Wrong. You were a cop. Now you're nothing. You're, you're shit. Or at least that's what the system wants everyone to believe anyway. I mean, you, you, you give 20 fucking years of your goddamn life to keeping the city clean. And for what? I mean, you get a big promotion? No, you, you get the big fuck you, Charlie, you know? The system is fucked, Ace. The system? No, the system works, Nick. Yeah, maybe for the niggers, the spicks, the, the whores, the junkies. It doesn't work for guys like us, you know? You know, the system is probably gear enough to remove you from it altogether. So, what do you propose, Nick? Beat them to the punch. Quit while you still got some dignity. While, while you still got some semblance of that tough little fucker I grew up with on the streets all those years ago. I mean, you got nothing left, Ace. Come run the dome with me. I don't know. I don't know, Nick. That whole thing, that ain't me anymore. Oh, and this is? I mean, laying in front of the boob tube in your own shit, right? I mean, hell, I could have come in here a couple weeks from now and it looked like a goddamn episode from The Hoarders. A dead little animal in the corner, a urine-soaked diaper on the floor. Fuck you. So what do you say? Six months, Nick. If it ain't happening in six months, I'm on a plane right back here. It'll be happening. It better. Yeah, come on, let's get you packed.
busy night tonight, boss. That's a good one. Good, we gotta keep those horny fuckers coming back night after night, putting those butts in seats. These clothes ain't gonna pay for themselves. Lou brought some new friends with him. Well, Lou's here, huh? Is he behaving, or am I gonna have to toss him out again? He's in a seat, hands to himself. <laughs> Fucking change, huh? <laughs> they get tired of babysitting that crusty pervert. He's being a perfect gentleman, I promise you. Go inside, see for yourself. Well, you can bet that I will. I hate that motherfucker. Nick, what are you always giving that guy a fucking hard time for, huh? I mean, he goes in, drops a little cash, grabs a little buff, goes home. No harm, no foul. I don't need his fucking money. Oh, you don't need his fucking money? You haven't seen our last few bill statements, have you? You don't know what our electricity bill is. And not to mention our car. Right, I don't need a play-by-play, -play, all right? I get it? We're broke. Well, we're not broke, Nick. It just wouldn't turn to, uh, you know, line our pocket for a rainy day. Jade here? She got here about 20 minutes ago. She's upstairs getting ready. Is that fucking asshole Julio with her? Oh yeah, he's here. And she's sporting a really good shiner. Son of a bitch. Fucker, I'll go check on her. No, no, I'll do it. Go talk to Luke. Tell him I say hi. Luke. So I see you've spawned yourself off into other little scumbags. Nikki, baby. This is Charlie, Bob, and Dennis. We're just celebrating the closing of a huge deal. Join us. No thanks. The bygones be bygones, huh? Yeah. Take some champagne. It's the good stuff, too. Not that water down piss you sell here. What'd you do that for? Look. We are not friends. We've never been friends. We're never gonna be friends. You got that? Look, pal, I don't know who you are, but Lou's just trying to be nice. Look, pal, I'm the owner of this fucking club, and you better find yourself some better acquaintances. Asshole. I'm watching you. One false move, and I'm gonna snap your dick off. You got that? Sweetheart, make sure you charge him a corking fee for that. Jade, you back here? You okay? No problem, Andrew. No problem at all. Julio. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing going on here. Yeah, right. Really? Don't enlighten me. What was it I supposedly did this time? Oh, you know what we did. You are. Yeah, you do. Black eyes sound familiar? Oh, that. <laughs> Andrew was the damnedest thing. She turned the corner in the apartment, slipped, and caught the edge of it right in her face. Right here. Yeah, I'll bet. You can imagine my relief when I found out she was okay. Could have been so much worse. Uh-huh. she up there? Find out for yourself. Yeah. Jake, can I come in? Uh, yeah, of course, Andy. Oh, you know, just another run-in with the door when I was texting. The door, huh? How many times are you gonna let that gorilla put his hands on you? It's not his fault, Andy. He had a bad day at work and I said something I shouldn't have. Yeah, like what? What do you want for dinner? You know, you don't have to stay with him. You can go. Where would I go? My mom disowned me after I started working here. My sister is somewhere tweaked out on God knows what. I have nowhere to go. It's places you can go. You have options. You can stay with Melanie or Ola or Maria or any of the girls. I can stay with you. You know it's not an option. Why? Because you're married? 
It's been over a year, Andy. You're not coming back. You have to move on at some point. In time. Well, there's no time like the present. In time. Okay, well, in time, I'm running out of options. <laughs> you could always stay in Nikki's. Childhood sweethearts back together again? <laughs> yeah, as soon as I find uh, one of those iron panties with the big ass <laughs> lock on it, I will move in back to Nikki's. <laughs> you okay? You gonna go on? I, I could get Vanessa yeah. to cover your shift. Nah, I'm good. You sure? Yeah. Right. It'll be good for me to get my mind off it anyways. I'll see you out there in a few, okay? Okay. Right. Thanks. for you. I can even give you the tips. No, I'm good. My body might be broken, but my spirit is not. Well, if it's any consolation to you, your boy Nikki just introduced Julio to his right hook. Yeah, he's not my boy anymore. He still loves you, Jade. He's got a funny way of showing it. And if Julio doesn't, I'm sorry. It's none of my business. I just worry about you, you know? You still have the key to my apartment, right? Yeah, I have it. Well, Mia Casa is your casa. However that goes. So if you change your mind, give me a call. Okay. Good night. Hey, was Nikki hurt? Nikki, Nikki's always hurt. What about you though? What's that Bruce Lee kick of yours? <laughs> I'm fine. Um, I offered Jade to stay with me, but she didn't seem up for it. Well, we'll keep an eye on it. Okay. All right, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Yep, have a good night, sugar. Be careful cutting through the cemetery. Okay. Sorry, Andy, they're gone. Hello? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Francesco. Okay, thanks. We'll be there soon. Oh, hey, listen. Whatever you do, please keep her awake. Don't let her fall asleep. Okay. Okay, good, thanks. You are welcome. Looks like you've got the deluxe treatment, baby. I told you I didn't want to do it right now, Nikki. I'm on my period. You know what? You may have come in on your period, but you are leaving with an exclamation point. Ugh, fucking asshole. Hey, remember to clean up those dishes in the kitchen out there before you leave. This ain't a fucking barn. What's up, Ace? Yeah, good timing. You caught me in my uh, downtime. <laughs> Francesca just called. Vanessa's awake. She, 
She's awake? Did, did she say anything? You know what I know. Ten minutes. Okay. Dr. Bosmus, Dell, the operator. Dr. Bosmus, Dell, the operator. Dr. Todd, Dell, the operator. Hey, MD. Nikki. Hey, Sugar. How you doing? Fine. Seriously. My gun was dropped from the Empire State Building. If you just keep taking that medicine, you'll be back to work in no time. I'm not coming back. What do you mean you're not coming back? I mean, aside from being a scarred up freak, I'm lucky to be alive and give it another chance and I don't want to waste a day when I get out. Vanessa, listen. No, Andy, it's okay. This is what I want. The attack really put things into perspective for me and I'm going to start living on my own terms. Well, the club always has a place for you, like family, you know that. Thank you. Okay, I understand about this little love fest, but there is a brutal slasher out there that I need to catch. Okay, so go to hell, Francesco. Really? In a hospital? Get away from me. Alright. Do you know anything about the attacker? Do you have any idea? No, I'm sorry, Detective. Nothing. Now, I know he attacked you from behind. So, dude, did, did he smell like something? Or, or did he say anything? He may have mumbled something faint, something about revenge, but. Revenge? I, I can't really be sure. I'm sorry. Revenge? Okay. Alright, well, you know how to get in touch with me. I can get in touch with the ears. Alright, I got something to go on now. Thanks. Is there anything you want to tell me? Like what? Oh, I don't know. About the uh, sick son of a bitch who has it out for you? Revenge? Really, Nikki? I thought we were fucking done with this, man. Look, we have been over this and over this, all right? I am not the guy. Turn the fucking page already. Watch it, Nick. Oh, when did you become so fucking self-righteous, huh? You know what? You forgot where you came from long ago, Mr. Big city detective, poster boy for rubbing elbows with, with those same very people that threw us into juvie all those years ago. Not once, but multiple times. You were just like me, Ace. Or does it pain you to remember that? Oh, I remember. Why do you think I became a cop? I didn't want to become like a... What, a big... fuck up like me? Is that it? You said that, not me. Yeah? Well, how'd that cop thing work out for you, huh? Cleaning up the city. Couldn't even protect your own wife and kid. Motherfucker! <clears throat> Do it! Do it, huh? You angry? You want revenge, maybe, huh? You lost something, Ace. When Marissa and Liz died, you died too. But you don't know how it is to lose, you like... To lose someone? A wife? Kid? A sister, maybe? Yeah. You forgot all about Danielle, didn't you? Oh, I didn't forget about her. I loved her! No, I loved her! And it was my job to be watching her, not playing fucking stickball with you. If I hadn't turned my back for that one minute, she would have never gotten into that vein. Oh, Nick. Nick, you can't beat yourself up for that. Our parents, they divorced just before Christmas. I, 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 guess, I guess that's not my fault either, huh? They never could even look at me the same way again. You remember they, they found her missing her, her, her hand and her head? Crime went unsolved. So revenge? Revenge is a feeling I live with every fucking day of my life, so don't you talk to me about revenge. I'm sorry, Nick. Look. This shit is just gaining on me, man. It's gaining on all of us, eh?
is absolutely horrible. How can anybody be enjoying this? Get her off the stage. You, you gotta be kidding me. Can we get somebody else up on the stage, for God's sake? Jeez. Hey, what's your problem, buddy? My problem is I come here after work looking to see some titties and some boom boom and to get away from this. So? So, today I come down here to spend all my money and it's like feeding time at the fucking zoo. Well, why don't you take it outside, my friend? Yeah, on. head on down to Club Sugarbush, all right? They got fresh cesarean scars down there, asshole. Dick. Hey, Sugar, did he hurt you? No, I'm okay. He didn't touch you nothing? You know, we got signs posted about that. He tried to a couple times. I just moved. Greasy scumbag. <sighs> Where's Jade? She's in the back. So Vanessa. And how is she? Well, she's not coming back. She's, she's scared. Uh, I mean, she's happy to be alive, but she's scared. Yeah, I don't blame her. Yeah. Who who would do something like that? Did you have any enemies? That's what we were coming to ask you. Me? Why me? Because you were friends. Well, friends, but like work friends. We never hung out. You have no idea who this could be. I have no idea, Andy. I'm sorry. Well, that's great. It's just fucking great. Life. Don't worry about it. Hey, I'm almost done here. You wanna get some coffee and talk? Yeah, let me go check on Nick and uh, meet me outside in 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, just a routine surprise inspection. Are you fucking kidding? Don't you dykes have anything better to do than to come around here and harass us? Listen here, you bald-headed little fuck. Easy, settle down. Yeah, calm down, Charlene. Your little girlfriend's not gonna let you in bed tonight. Fuck you, dipshit. I said enough. Oh, look, if I could just see your most recent license renewal. Are okay. we killing everybody when I leave? Well, you finally got to where you want me. Let's let this threesome begin, huh? In your dreams, O'Hannon. Is this behavior really necessary? Mm. Look, your panties are all wet with anticipation. Fuck you, it's too early for this bullshit. I don't want to be here either. Then why the fuck are you? Okay, everything checks out. You're up for renewal again soon, don't forget. No, um, just curious. Who called you on us this time? You know I can't say. Yeah, you can tell us, it's not gonna leave this room. Was it Lou? Guy. I knew it. You know, he's not such a bad guy. If your partner weren't such an asshole, you might actually get along. Yeah? Well, if you were twice as smart as you think you are, you'd still be stupid. Fuck you, dickhead. Look, you and your little butt buddy here, you better watch out. You never know when a surprise inspection will show up. Get the fuck out of here before I stick my shoe so far up your cunt, no one will be able to retrieve it. Whatever. So what exactly did the police know? Not much. Random attack. 
they're just dismissing to some nutcase loose in the city. Okay, and you don't agree? I don't know what I believe in him. Why? What's that supposed to mean? Well, Francesco seems to think that Nikki is somehow involved in all this. That's just ridiculous. He would never do anything like that. Not that. I'm just thinking that someone that he's wronged or has been indebted to might be responsible. When you guys were together, what kind of shit was he involved with? You know, Nikki. I mean, he was into gambling here and there, but nothing hard or dangerous. And you'd know, right? I mean, you guys had a thing. A thing? I'm not a whore, Andy. No, we were dating, like a real couple. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I just... He fell for you hard, and then you broke up with him. And, uh... I dumped him. So now I'm a whore and a heartbreaker. Yeah. This is coming out all wrong. What are you trying to ask me, Andy? Maybe the breakup was his breaking point. I mean, people get set over the edge. Uh, I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, Nikki, he's, he's crass, he's crude, he's pretty much an asshole, but nothing like that. I know. Fuck. I just wish we knew what was going on. We could be one step ahead of this motherfucker. Agreed. It's open. What the fuck are you doing here again? I told you to watch your mouth off. Didn't I tell you that? Fine. What? Now you want the girls we killed, this time in the daytime. Shit. Who was it? Sidney Thompson. Fuck. What's going on? Cindy was killed. Sydney? Oh my god. What happened? Same street? No. This time somebody broke into her house and she was in the kitchen. That's where she was attacked. Definitely same guy, huh? Well, yeah. It seems to be because it's so much of a coincidence. I, I think it is him. That's great. Aren't you supposed to protect and serve, huh? Great job doing both. You Wait. know something? I will take you downtown and check you for everything. You know, I'm sure we missed things in the past. But, you know, but this time, I'm sure we wouldn't mind checking everything because I'm sure we don't like to waste taxpayers' dollars doing shoddy police work. Detective, he doesn't mean anything. He's just, he's emotional. We all are. I mean, now you just talked to her after her shift. What, did she say anything on the phone? Like she was afraid or anything? I mean, nothing, anything different. No, she didn't say anything. She was just going to go home, get changed, and get ready to go on her lunch date. With whom? Franklin. I don't know his last name. Well, well, who's this Franklin guy? He's some nerdy fucking guy at the club. We all know him. Right, Nick? He's, he's a good guy. Well, a good guy, but what do you know about him? I mean, I mean what's really? it? I mean, he's a really nice guy. He's a, he's a true gentleman. He really is. All right, well, I'll be back in touch with you guys when I get up some more information. Better watch your ass. What the fuck's going on already around here? Yeah, Nikki, come on. Is this someone you know? This fucker is playing with us. Think. Is it somebody that you know? Somebody that comes into the club? A girl? Really, Jane? I mean, you of all people. You're gonna blame this on me, too? No, Nikki, it's not like that. I'm not blaming. Oh, the fuck you say. Uh, come on. First it's Andy and now you? You really are two fucking peas in a oh, pod, aren't you? Oh, settle the fuck down, Nick. Come on, we're just trying to cover all our bases. Haven't you been fucking paying attention? All right, look, you know me. You both know me. Don't you think if I had that information up front, I would have said something long before our girls started getting chopped up like Thanksgiving hey, rams? listen, huh? listen. Covering all our bases, huh? Is that what you call trying to brainwash my girlfriend so you can get into her pants? You know that's not the case. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, whatever. I mean, it's, it's totally obvious that to have raging hard-ons for each other. Everybody see. Oh, fuck off, Nikki. Been there, done that, sweetheart. Fucking knock it off. How is this helping us? We're no closer to finding what's going on. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Nikki. I just, 
He's right. We've known each other for a long time. I mean, we've been friends since grade school. If there is something going on, just tell us. Okay, we're here to listen. We just have to make sure that we cross all of our T's and dot all of our I's. Nick, it could be anybody. We're just trying to figure out our options here and figure out what's going on. Now listen, I mean, gambling, some fucker cut you off in traffic. I know it's not drugs. You gotta be straight with us, Nick. We need to know what's going on. That's just it. There is nothing. You know, I, I, I owe a few yards to the mob. You already know about that, but I mean, other than that, I mean, I, I, I've, I'm clean. I, I've been clean, all right? I, this, this whole situation, this is just, this is not good. Not good? What are you getting at, Nick? No, no motors, no, no notes. I mean, this thing is far from over. No, 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 Monica, we cannot afford all-day security patrol. Now, what am I supposed to... You're on in less than two hours, Monica, what... Damn. Evening, boss. Okay, this sucks, Andy. With these recent attacks, I can't get anyone to come to work. I mean, they're scared. And I'm having a really hard time filling those private rooms. Well, you can take Monica off the list, because she just fucking called and canceled for tonight. Monica, Monica. Oh, shoot. I was counting on her. What did she say? What did she say? What did they all say? I'm not feeling well. I twisted my ankle. My dog's not feeling well. I have no gas in the car. She's fucking all over the place. Fucking broad. Hey, now you're starting to sound like Nikki. Now, maybe that's not such a bad fucking thing, right? I mean, it's about time we start stirring some shit up. This status quo is not fucking working. Okay, I don't like where this is going. I'm serious, Jay. We keep trying to keep pace with this psycho fucking killer who's always one step ahead of us. We're the fucking victims here. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. You need to just check. What's going on?
going on over here? Andy, the voice of reason. Look, speak to your friend here about this price of scotch and keeping the customers happy, huh? Last time I ordered a penicillin, which was uh, about a month ago, it set me back seven and a half. Now it's nine. Scotch went up. Scotch went up? Huh? That's no answer. Andy, reason with the man, would you? He said scotch went up, Lou. Well, I ain't paying it. Take my 750 and let's stop this dance. That drink is nine bucks. Yeah, for the other yokels, uh, maybe, huh? But put 750 on my tab and now let me drink in peace, huh? Okay, Eddie. Hey, hey, hang on a minute. Hey, 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 Andy, Get him out Andy, of here. Andy, Andy. See you, Luke. Jesus Christ, you're nuts, you're fucking friend. Hey, get out of here, you fat pig. Fuck you, Jesus Christ. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that all about? Yeah, fucking good riddance that pig had to come in. I can't believe I'm hearing this from you. Lou was a regular for forever. Nothing's forever, Jade. You're being an asshole. Just like Nikki. A cold-hearted asshole. You two deserve each other. I'm done here. No way, Jade. So don't fucking touch me, okay? I am sick of your fucking pity party. And I don't want to be around when he brings you down to his level, okay? When you get your head straight, you know where to find me. What the fuck is her problem? You're such a fucking asshole, Nikki. Shut the fuck up. Destroy my fucking life. Israeli jet fighters bombed a guerrilla base, killing at least 49 soldiers and 13. Okay, first thing, you better have my fucking money. Two, you better have a damn good reason for not having your ass home, bitch. Where is she? Well, hello, Andrew. Rather late, isn't it? How are things at the club? I asked you a question. And I asked you one. What do you want? I want to know where Jade is. Well, you know, I was wondering that myself. And you can bet she and I are going to have a discussion about that as soon as she gets here. If anything fucking happens to her, you're fucking dead. I mean that. Oh, are you threatening me, Andrew? Is that what you're doing? Nothing better happen to her. Whatever you say, Andrew. I'll fucking handle Jade. Sweet dreams, honey. Fuck you. Fucking asshole. I'm so sorry it's so late, but I am really worked up over this whole mess and I didn't want to go home. I didn't have anywhere else to go. So what, was Andy unavailable? Oh my God, Nikki, why are you such an asshole? Seriously, this was a mistake. But, no, Jay, don't go. Look, I... You're right, I, I'm an asshole. Come sit down. Can I get you a drink? Um, just water is okay, thank you. <laughs> what did I do? How long you got? It's a long list. Look, Jade, it's, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna figure this out. I'm scared, Nikki. I'm here. But you're not. You haven't been here in years. 
And that's not true. It is true, Nikki. What happened to you? What happened to us? You walked out, Jade. Yeah, because I couldn't take it anymore. The gambling, the drugs, the booze. Not knowing if you were gonna come through that door again. But I always did. No, you didn't. That boy from 110th Street that I fell in love with, it was gone. Jade, you, you know. I know, I know. Your sister's death. You have used that excuse over and over. And at some point you have got to stop blaming yourself for that. It changed me. It changed all of us, Nikki. But we dealt with it and we moved on. We didn't let it consume us. And you just, you just freaking gave up. I didn't give up. I, I grew up. My, my priorities changed. Yeah. And after all of those years of us being there for each other, I was no longer one of those priorities. I never stopped loving you, Jade. I could believe that. I really do. I know I, I, I probably didn't show it that often, but you will never know how much you meant to me. How much you still mean to me. I mean, the excitement of holding your hand, the little glance without ever having to speak a word. You know what? No matter how fucked up I got, you always had a way of bringing me to peace with myself. And for that, I will be forever grateful. I think I may know who it is. Be ready in 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. What is it? Everything okay? Yeah. Andy's got an idea. He's gonna come pick me up. Oh, great. I'll come with. Yeah. Like, don't take this the wrong way, but it um, might not be the best timing to let Andy know what happened here tonight, you know? Yeah, you're probably right. So, um, you just go home and I'll call you if anything pans out. Did you really think that it's that guy you beat up in New Jersey? Right? Uh, you know how crazy that sounds? I know. I just, I have a feeling. So what, he, he follows you, he, he watches you for months, he, he sets up the attack on the girls, just to make your life a living hell pop at him a couple of times. I mean, come on, Ace. I know, it's crazy. Yeah, it sounds impossible. Well, okay, Sherlock, you tell me. I mean, really think it's someone we know, because he's sure as fuck knows us. Well, exactly, but that's what those stalker fucks do, right? They stalk. I mean, hell, for all we know, he could just be some pervert from down at the club that creamed his jeans one night watching the girls and now he wants to pay for a dry cleaning. That ain't funny, Nick. Yeah, and I'm not laughing. I'm just trying to figure this shit out. How? I'm going through different scenarios, right? I started thinking about maybe it being uh, some guy that we knew. So after you and Jade had your little spat earlier, I called our accountants, had him pull receipts for the last year. Wanted to look at, you know, cash, charge, see if anything jumped out. It's pretty good work. Yeah, well, I'm not a complete fuck-up. Anything stand out? Not really. I mean, there was the regular customers, a couple, uh, couple business guys, that, that fucker Lou. But, I mean, no red flags. 
know, I, I, I'm just really starting to think there's just some nut job that targeted the club. I mean, it's fucked up, but it happens. I guess it happens. Anything can happen. I don't know. Exactly. We don't know. So we just gotta keep our eyes and ears open. He's bound to screw up sometime. But when? When we're running out of time, the fucking club is running out of girls. Let these guys in. It's okay. It's okay. Alright, so when you came home, you came into your bedroom and you found those photos, right? Yes. Anything else? No. I just saw that message and then I called you. Alright, so you didn't see anybody outside lurking around, looking around, you know, being suspicious or anything? Well, actually, Detective, this is not her house. This belongs to somebody she's dating named Julio Sanchez. Sanchez? Where, where can I find him? I don't know. He wasn't home when I got here. Maybe he's at work. Work? Snake. What the hell you mean by that, huh? Well, it means he's not really known for his white collar, upstanding community service in this town. So, where, where, where's his former employer? Where's his employment at? Where's he at? He's a scumbag delivery boy down at Daxton's Market. You mean on May 8th? Yeah, that's the one. You don't think that he's a suspect, do you? I mean, this is his home. He couldn't have done this. Yeah, but it, I mean, it would make sense. He's got easy access in and out. I don't think he did this. He's an asshole, but he didn't do this. What, what, are you, what are you talking about? He thinks it's some guy that's got it out for him back in New Jersey. Oh. Wait a minute, do you mean where you got fired as a cop? That's the one. Hey, uh, Miller, do me a favor. Yes, sir. Uh, get a hold of Trenton Police Department and find out if they got any more of their collars they can get a hold of, all right? All right. Yes, sir. appreciate that. So, right. now back to the situation. Now, you, no one tried to break in? You sure there wasn't any glass broken or doors lifted or anything like that? No, and that's what's so odd. is because the photo that he used was a photo of us taken recently on a camping trip. And those photos I had hidden in my closet under a bunch of stuff. So there's no way, unless somebody came in here and totally ransacked the place, that they'd find those. All right, you know, we're going to take a look in that closet. Here, I want to see where you kept those photos. Put these gloves on. I don't want any other fingerprints. Do me a favor, Conley. Can yes, you come in here and dust for us, please? Yes, sir. Shield's on me, man, all right? It's okay. I'll call you later, okay? So what was all that about last night? What are you talking about? What am I talking about? The hug? Nicholas. Andrew. So you finally get to sleep last night? Fucking Julio. Been a long time, Julio. You feel good? Yeah. You really okay? Oh, oh, fuck! Uh, get your fucking hands off me! Yeah, but that's exactly what the girls were saying when you were carving them up, isn't it, Julio? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, man. Yo, man, let me go! You like cutting up pretty girls, you sick fuck, huh? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yo, get off me! You're staging break-ins at your fucking house to throw the cops off? Fucking brilliant, Julio. Break what? Break-in? What happened? Yeah. Hey, is my shit okay? Your shit? Shouldn't you be more concerned with Jade right now? Yo, man, fuck that. That bitch hasn't been home all night. I went to find a party of my own. She can kiss my ass. You really are a piece of shit, aren't you? You don't even care that she's missing. Not really. I'd find her, man. She always comes back. <laughs> now, you want to know where she was last night, motherfucker, huh? Smell that. That's where she was last night, huh? Oh. What the fuck are you doing, Nick? Where'd you get that? Is that uh, the fucking gun from the club? Yeah. You fucked in hell. What's wrong with you? Give me that shit. This is for protection only. What the fuck, Nick? Hey, knock it off. Rotelli O'Hannon, you back away and go home. Mr. Sanchez, I'd like to speak with you for a moment, please. Yes, officer. <clears throat> I'm not fucking playing. If I find one more mark on Jade, you're fucking dead. 
Whatever's gonna happen to you in jail is nothing compared to what I'm gonna do with you. Blah, blah, blah. Same old story from last night. Now fucking mean it, man. No more. All right, well, well maybe you could just take a place and suck my dick. Night, boys. Fuck that motherfucker. Damn. Fuck that motherfucker in the truck, bro. So what did Julio mean about that same story as last night? You first. What about you and Jade last night? It's nothing. Okay, I'll bet. Look, she was scared, all right? She just wanted someone to talk to. Yeah, talk. Sound like there was a lot more than talking going on last night. And if there was? I mean, Christ, we got bigger things to worry about right now. So what was that with Julio? Don't worry about it. Have you been harassing him? Because if you've been harassing him, we don't have a case. I said forget it, Nick. Oh, yeah, forget it. Whatever. Andy knows best. Yes, yeah, sometimes I do. Oh, shit. You know, the turn was back there. I didn't miss anything, Nick. The club is back there. We ain't going to the club, Nick. But where the fuck are we going? I said, where are we going? Are you still pissed at me over all this? I damn sure know that you and Jade have been hiding something. How do I know you're not hiding anything else on me? Look, I have told you, all right? I'm not to blame here. I have been straight with you. Maybe, maybe you have been, but you know what? I need to keep it straight in my head, Nick. What are you talking about? I'm gonna be taking a little ride. I'm gonna go see Scarpelli. Scarpelli, are, are, you, are you, you fucking nuts? Taking me to see Scarpelli is gonna be like dropping a sheep into a lion's cage. He's gonna eat us both for lunch. Not if you come clean with him. Level with me, Nick. I have told you, all right? I owe him some money. I've been paying him. That's why his goons haven't been coming around the club lately, all right? I got tired of taking fucking headers into the pavement. You know what, fuck it. Fuck it, take me to the Greasy Wops place, all right? Let's just get this over with. I'm tired of the suspicion. Let's just get this shit done. for you today. I suppose you heard what's been going on at the dome. I don't watch the news. Catch me up. Some psycho's been carving up all our girls. Ah, the mad slasher. Damn, this is a crazy world we live in. How many girls has he taken from you so far? Enough that the other girls are afraid to come to work and the customers have stopped coming in. That's bad for business. That's a shame. Especially since he seems to have it out for the two of us. Revenge? Well, yeah, revenge. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? <laughs> sure. No. 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 Uh-uh. Do you know who this might be? We have our suspicions. You don't think I would be doing this, huh? Well, Nikki does owe you guys a little seed, and we figured that. You figured that I was sending a message by carving up little girls, right? Gentlemen, I am a businessman, okay? In this uh, situation between Nikki and I, is that. Strictly business, okay? If I want to be persuasive, I have other ways to make my meaning, okay? Besides, Nicky's been a good boy lately. He's been paying on time. I mean, I'll be able to send my uh, grandchild to uh, Yale, maybe. Maybe Harvard, you know? Yeah, yeah I know. It's a good place, I like it. But um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put the word on the street, and uh, if we hear something, 
will tell you. So right now, you're going to go because I have a meeting. Okay? Oh, and boys, if you ever burst into my place again, like you did a minute ago, you won't walk out. You'll be carried. Capish? Now go. You see, I, I told you it wasn't Scarpelli. I've been paying him, and I've been paying him on time. And besides, he doesn't want to get involved with us. He's got other things going on that he wants to stay out of the spotlight for. Uh, it's got to be somebody that knows us, you know? It's got to be that fucker Julio. <laughs> What's so funny? It's, it's not It's not Julio, Nick. And how can you be so sure? Because I'm a cop. You are not a cop. That doesn't mean shit right now. Oh, no? Trust me, he's not the guy. And why do you say that? Because of the way he acted back there in, at his place. Plus, the cops would have figured it out by now. What, you don't think that they've investigated us? And they've looked into us? And our friends and our families? Our employees? Their families? Come on, Nick. He's not the guy, trust me. So, why did Francesco string us along then? I mean, why did he keep asking all those questions to Jade about Julio like he didn't know anything about it? Because that's what they do, Nick. They try to break you that way. Julio's not a suspect, Nick. Trust me, one of us are. Motherfuckers. Yeah, I know. Yeah, big time, and we need to figure out what we're gonna do fast. And if the cops aren't gonna do it, we need to take it upon ourselves and do something. Yeah, what do you got in mind? I don't know. I, I think better at the office. Call Jade when she's done with Francesco. Tell her to get her ass over to the club. She should be in on this as well. Julio about an hour ago, and now we're back to square one. She's right, Ace. We, we can't have another week like we had this time. We won't have any girls left. No, I know. I just need to think. Okay, with all due respect, Andy, we need to be done thinking. Yeah, this psycho could be planning his next move. We need to do something. We will. Damn it, just be quiet. I need to think. Think about what? Okay, we're just like sitting here waiting to be picked off. I don't think that's gonna happen. For fuck's sake. I mean, I have told you, I am not the guy. Oh, I know that, Nick. Ah! Ah! Nicky! Nicky! What? Why? Why what, Jade? What? You think I was thrown off the force for beating up a perp in a station? Really? No, that motherfucker worked for me. I was a rookie cop 20 years ago, got on the force with a new wife and a young child on the way. The cops pay shit. I had to take a few extra side jobs. I had to make a few friends, which weren't necessarily the best friends, but they were friends. That fucker worked for me. It was a deal gone wrong. And I covered my tracks. But Vanessa, Melanie, why would you do that? We were your family. You're sick. Sick? Yeah. <laughs> no, Jade, smart. You know why? 20 fucking years I've spent on the force, protecting people from the scum of the earth out there. And what do I get in fucking return, huh? Huh? I get some fucking psychopath that guns down my wife and daughter, gets arrested, and eventually gets out. No, 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 I'm not fucking crazy. I'm right where I need to be. Somebody had to fucking pay. Yeah, that's how you respond. It's by attacking you. Hurting innocent people? Innocent. Nobody is fucking innocent. Someone had to go down, and I didn't care who it was at this point. I needed a fucking outlet. And you know what, Jay? I got one. Put the gun down, Andy. Detective, how poetic. Put the gun down. Put the gun down. Not gonna happen. Nobody else has to get hurt. Yeah? Why don't you tell that to my wife and daughter? Look what happened to them. Well, now it's time for healing. Come on now, Andy. I 
can help you, man. Trust me. Uh, you can't help me. Can help Don't you. fuck with me, detective. Trust me. You know what they do to cops on the inside. Fuck that. You know, Jay, you know why you got really kicked out of the station, right? Shut up, Francesco. He really wasn't kicked out. What actually happened was they allowed him to stay on the force as long as he took psychological things, but he failed them continuously. From the captain, Trenton PD, I got everything together. They gave me all the files and I saw all the paperwork. He did a lot more stuff than at that damn station. Okay, now, Andy, this can go easy or hard, you know? We can stop the madness right now. Come on, put the gun down. Yeah, I'll let it go. Sorry, Mrs. Johnson, but Andy actually was on our radar, you know. He, um, he, he, uh, he was one of our prime suspects, but we just didn't have any pieces to put together. So it finally did more, How we figured it out was that uh, he was always so kindly and friendly, he always wanted to be there to, you know, help us. You know, and, and most people who do that usually are the ones that are bad guys. So I, I put everything together, and that's how I found out it was him. <coughs> you Fucking who? You figured it out. Does somebody want to call me fucking ambulance or something? Oh, come on, man. That's not that bad. You'll be all right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We'll get somebody here to help you out. He's actually a nice guy, Mr. Johnson. Bit of a pain in the ass, but he's a good guy. Thanks, Detective. No problem. Here, take my card. If you ever need me again, please give me a call. How does that feel, boy? Mm. Hurts, huh? Mm. How's it going? Busy night. People buying drinks. No complaints. Yeah. I mean, how are you doing? I'm making. Okay. I gotta go. I gotta go pop the girls. You have a lot to learn. Those <laughs> newbies. Miss you already. Oh, God. <laughs> so it's $100. How much for the whole thing? <laughs> Blue. Hey, Nikki. Why don't you meet my friends Dax and Desmond here? We're just here uh, celebrating a big closing. Welcome to the dome. Listen, Landon, all bullshit aside, I just want to express my heartfelt condolences to you and Jay about Andy. It was so tragic. I knew you guys were childhood friends, and it must be rough. No. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Hey, sweetheart, let me see my tab, huh? We may want another bottle to celebrate. Not tonight, Lou. Tonight's on the house. <laughs>